I'm officially beginning my protest. Moyang, unless you add a way for me to get large amounts of renewable sand, I'm going to use something else, which means I'm going to be adding something to that tree farm behind me. First thing is going to be the rest of the farm because I haven't finished it yet, but I swear to God, when I'm done, I'm gonna add something. Big shout out to enx 4 for this tree farm design. It's great and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Now I'm going to add my touch to it. Behold, a creeper farm. All right, with this bit done, now we can start figuring out how exactly I want to connect the, th this to this and somehow creating and storing charged creepers in the middle of it. <laughs> I don't, this isn't, it's not gonna explode, right? And we're just gonna proof of concept. If this is working correctly, then I should yoink a creeper out of there or I'm just an idiot. <laughs> we got a creeper and you're not, I can, I can fix this. Just give me a second. <gasps> what do I do with this? All right, everyone. Thank you for watching uh, the farm while I was away uh, and didn't make anything. That sucks. I know I didn't make a good farm, but I didn't make it that bad. No, it is that bad, isn't it? This is, this is why I should never do the tutorial. Ever. Oh, would you look at that? A ton of creepers. Yay, the farm. It's so efficient. <laughs> oh, and we just got three creepers. What? I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it now. We have test subjects. Boom. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got a creeper in position. He can get turned into a charged creeper. Now I just need to get the charged creeper all the way back down there. And we need to be able to recycle that minecart. What? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you making creepers now? Are you just in the mood? I'm, okay, now this means it is time to test. Are we getting the little zappies? We are getting the little zappies. Come on, lightning. Where did you even hit? Do I need to point it a different direction? I don't know. God, thank you. Why are you there? That being said, I now know that he likes to appear there. And so we could potentially pick him up. Also that got rid of the other car. <laughs> okay, so we need to lightning proof some things. Ah, he's, <laughs> he's busted a move. You go, little buddy. Don't stop. I th Oh, I think he heard me. So I don't know if when that lightning rod gets hit, if it's going to power the block below it or the block it's like attached to. I'm hoping attached to because that would make the circuit really, really easy. But I could also use that block down there to pull a signal from. I just need to know what it's doing because I don't want to waste my time and create an entire circuit just to find out that zap, it doesn't work. Oh, it worked. Oh, right, that's a thing. Can I maybe do that? And then does it update? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, I had no idea that that would update. That's actually kind of nifty. Now, hold on, wait a minute. If I'm standing here, that pushes me too. So if I have a dispenser here, so let's say we get our creeper, Oh ho! Oh ho ho! Okay, so I think this is ready. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about this. I don't know if this is gonna work the way that I envision it. Well, I didn't go according to plan. I'm now 90% sure that I have the timings right on the circuit, but I still need to see it happen for me to feel comfy. Now, it it might be a little inconvenient if you have to, you know, build a creeper farm in order to use your tree farm and you have to wait for lightning to hit the creeper but you know what it, it wouldn't be a protest if it was easy okay i effort effort is important it's not about efficiency it's about the message <laughs> you know what nope i'm tired of waiting i'm tired of waiting helps if i hit the target 
Helps if I hit the target. It helps if you point that the right way. <laughs> All right, that should be working now. We're gonna grab another test sub. Oh, nuts. Let's see if we can get him in and out of a cart. What? No, that's not how that's supposed to work. I am beyond confused. Does this need a signal extender? There's, there's no way. There's no way. So are you just not firing when there is a creeper there? Is that, is that what I'm getting here? I'm gonna have to rethink this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we discovered that if you put an entity on top of a lightning rod, it doesn't actually get hit. Like the entity on top gets hit, but the lightning rod itself doesn't. So we wouldn't actually get a signal for any of this stuff until after our friend over here had been turned into a charged creeper. So we're gonna have to change things. It, don't, no, get away from me. You smell weird. Get out of here. Why do we, why do we feel like we have to re-rail cart them here? I don't think we necessarily need to because instead we could have just a drop shoe right here. So now I'm a creeper. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think I've come up with a pretty elegant solution. This little circuit right here should pull that block out from underneath the creeper whenever they get hit by lightning. Let's grab a test subject. What happened to you? <laughs> we'll just get rid of that evidence and test subject. And he exploded. Now, Alakazam. They seem to be dying instantly now. And I'm not sure why. Oh, now hold on a minute. That's a charged creeper in storage. It's working. Let's make sure that that wasn't a fluke. He went the right spot. It even get it even gets rid of the fire. Now I just need to move these guys down to where we've got the TNT duplicator because we have to replace that with these guys. And I have to figure out how big the explosions are. And I have to figure out a way for you to light them manually. This is a bad idea. I think another thing as well is we don't want these guys to despawn. <laughs> so I'm also gonna have to name tag these guys. Explanation time. So let's get another friend. That sends a mine cart. That scoops a friend. Friend waits to get hit by lightning. For now, I will be lightning. Friend gets fried. Friend gets name tagged safely. So he doesn't despawn. And then he goes. And now we have replenishable storage for charged creepers to use in the tree farm. Now, I just need to get them all the way down to the tree farm somehow safely and then i have to light them myself i i i'm i'm a little bit worried about that step but we'll 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 figure that out when we get there now getting them down there is not going to be the problem because i can just drop shoot these guys into a little puddle of water and they'll be fine it's a matter of figuring out the timing for the trees so the way that this farm normally works is by duplicating TNT and then dropping it right there in a very, very precise location. And I have to do that with creepers. Now, unlike TNT, I'm not gonna be able to set off these creepers in an automated fashion. I'm gonna have to light them by hand. So I'm not gonna be able to also sit on that little platform that's above my head right now. And that's normally where you would stand and you would bone meal stuff. I can't do that. So we're gonna have to get a little bit creative and this is gonna be a little bit more manual. But like I said, this is about a message. It has nothing to do with efficiency. I just want something renewable. And there's grass in my face. I think for now, my first goal is gonna be get a creeper to blow up a birch tree. Oh no, I just had a horrible idea. So so here's here's the scheme, right? Charged creeper gets dispensed. Fall all the way down. 
And then as it's falling at terminal velocity, it goes past a block that I'm standing on with a flint and steel. And I light it. And then right before it dies on that obsidian, it explodes and blows up the tree instead. This is going to take a lot of trial and error, and I've got a feeling that something's going to explode that wasn't supposed to explode. I need you to wait here comfortably for just a couple minutes. Now, if this works correctly, we should see a pillager fly past us going the speed of... Doomed. You know, I was expecting faster, but it worked. Please do not ask what happened to the other test subjects. So I've got a way of safely getting minecart creepers into this little section of this tube. Ah, I don't think we need this anymore. I think we can just drop our creepers right into this storage spot, which takes advantage of signs and water to stop their fall and keeps them from drowning. I'm also stuck in here. Hey guys. Oh, there weren't that many of you. That's, that's not, oh, he's, he's not gonna live. How did you get there? I need to be very gentle on putting this guy back on the track, because otherwise, he's not gonna live. Listen, I, I'm not good at this, all right? I'm new. Okay, don't, no! <laughs> no! No! Is he gonna make it? Now I gotta know. That's a new. Hi, guys. There were six of you to begin with. Okay. Now, um, it needs to go. I feel like that could work. I feel like that could work. It's definitely one of the uglier of things that I've created. Let's go get a test subject. We've got our friend. Let's make it rain. Let's take a trident. Make a friend, aim tag the friend, and send the friend down to be ammunition. Okay, I, I I think we're good. I think. Now let's make sure these guys are falling one at a time. And we flick, you know what? Let's test this. I missed. Come on, right click him, right click him. No! Oh, I've got one more. Here he comes. No! All right, we gotta make a couple more. <laughs> I hate that this is kind of satisfying. I'm manufacturing living bombs for devious purposes. <laughs> okay, so I need the creepers to fall through here and I'm struggling to light them in time. I don't know how to fix that, but I'm kind of thinking maybe cobwebs. The only issue there if we if we did cobwebs is the player would be very very close to the creeper and so the creeper might just explode here but if we put the cobweb a little bit higher up i think this might this might work cuz once they're through that i can quickly light them as they fall and then maybe kaboom oh shoot he's falling okay could the player stand right here yeah cuz he wouldn't be able to see Till he's through. Okay, so this isn't the most efficient use of time, but that's fine. That's not what we're looking to do. Boop. I mean, it shaved the tree a little bit, right? Oh no, that didn't hit the tree at all. Uh, okay, what's going on? I name tagged a whole bunch of them. Well, shoot, I guess I'm making a new batch. All right, let's make some friends. And everyone should be stored safely. Now, we do a test. I see our volunteer is here, and I should be able to watch what happens. My guess is that he explodes a lot sooner than I want him to. Yep, he is exploding a little bit early. Let's see how far off we are. Ah! All right, I think we have reached a point where it is time for some final tests. I spawn proofed things with buttons. You can now use a bubble vader to get to all the different stages of the machine, which 
I now realize if you have the patience to build this thing, you probably have an elytra by now. So kind of a moot point, but I did it anyway out of the kindness of my heart. I'm a madman. So let's head up the bubble vader and make some charged creepers for the test. And whoop. And we will wait patiently for creepers. Very, very patiently indeed. Gonna make sure that we're stocked up on minecarts. We're going to wait for a thunderstorm to happen. We'll grab one of these. Let's make some magic happen. And I think technically this is survival safe because these guys should not be able to see you while you're name tabbing them through that little slot. We'll see. We'll have to see if someone actually builds this in survival. <laughs> if you do that, kudos to you and send me a video. I want to see it. Oh yeah, I didn't spawn proof that. I don't care. Many creepers were harmed in the making in this video. That is all the creepers we are gonna... <laughs> we have enough for the test. What are you doing here? I get what you're doing here. Where did you get that? These guys might start dying because a couple of these carts are empty. Okay, that just tells me it's time to get moving with the test. All right, I'm here. I take my flint and steel. And we begin. All right, here comes the first one. We have a tree in place. Is he here? He's here. Okay, we got this. We got this. We're blowing up a birch tree. We're blowing up a birch tree. Ready? And... Bop! No! All right, next one's on the way. We're going to get it this time. We're going to get that tree. We got this. We got this. Got him. And is that the whole tree? That's the whole tree. I don't know if we got any logs from it, but that was the whole tree. I think I just saw a creeper die. Oh no, they're dying before we can get them. You are going to blow up this oak tree so well. You're going to do such a good job. Bah. Okay. He died on a minecart. <laughs> If I blow up this oak tree with this creeper, I will call this a success. I will be completely independent of TNT duplication and desert destruction. I should probably check and see if we're actually getting logs or if they're just being completely obliterated by the creeper. Bop, got him. That's a blown up oak tree. I suppose I need to check the storage system to see if it actually worked. Oh, please let there be logs in here. <laughs> A single birch log survived. <laughs> it works. It is terrible, but I am free from the shackles of cheatsy redstone and the destruction of entire ecosystems. That was a success. I'm happy with that. We're ending the video there. Good day.